Okay, uh, how to clean up your topology in three steps. Step number one, remove supporting loops. Yeah, uh, this step basically involves removing any edge that doesn't contribute to low quality model shape. What I mean is that the changes you make should only be noticeable in the subdivided version. Here's an example. These edges right here doesn't really make sense and it really makes our model really messy. So what we do is we get rid of all the supporting loops that doesn't really help uh, our geometry or doesn't affect the outline of our geometry. So we basically go ahead and do that. These are these edges right here. You click on them, uh, holding Alt, click on them, it's going to basically select the entire loop. You click Control X in order to get rid of them. Very easy to do. And I think that's it. We got one right here and we're done. So you got a pretty weird shape. And in order to make this look neat and clean, uh, it's going to be quite a hassle if you don't know what you're doing. But th uh, there are easy steps in order to facilitate this process. And that is basically going with step number two, which is uh, removing any edge that doesn't contribute to the outline or the shape of base shape of the model, which are these edges right here. These edges right here are unnecessary for the moment. It does help uh, break the model into different uh, chunks of triangles, but uh, they are not ideal because to get rid of them, you're going to have an end gun, which is not ideal either, but keeping them is really going to mess up your model. We need a better way, and that's what we're going to do. First of all, we're going to get rid of these right here, and also these ones right here. You go to a vertice mode to make sure that there are not any uh, vertices that are not needed so uh yeah so we got a pretty clean shape so far it's not the best you know uh geometry because we got this huge end gun right here and we, let's say if we have a different model density right here and then we got it right here and we, let's say we have a certain detail right here like this and uh, we want to uh, keep this uh, amount of density right here and we want to go from this density to this density right here. We need a, a technique in order to reroute the uh, edges and that's where step number three comes in. Rerouting your 3D uh, edges or whatever, which is uh, basically a technique a lot of 3D models use in order to create very efficient and clean topology. <laughs> this is basically requires you to destroy and rebuild major details in your 3D mesh in order to reroute and create them in a more effective and efficient way. Let's say we got this end on right here. We don't need that. So basically, let's say we delete them. It's not necessary for this case, but we're going to do it anyway. We're going to, let's say, create this uh, right here. You could just do that with this as well. We could just connect these with the um, edge. What, what I'm trying to show you to you is that uh, a more general workflow, which is something you're going to come across more often. So you uh, basically click F in order to create a face right there and select this holding all and create a face right there. Let's say we have created a new geometry. Now we want to go from this amount of density, which is, it's got like one, two, three, four, uh, five, and six uh, vertices to four vertices in a very efficient and all quad based uh, sort of topology. So what you do is you basically go to a, get your cutting tool. I got this cutting tool, make line. I, Think this comes built in with blender i don't know the exact name for the add-on but you can enable it uh, in the settings menu it does come built in with blender so that's good uh, it helps create nice perpendicular lines you can you can use the built-in knife tool for this and it's not really any different but uh, i prefer this because uh, it helps uh, create nice perpendicular lines snapping it them at 90 degrees so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and use that for this case right here Go ahead and connect these lines just like that. Once you've done that, what you're going to do is you're going to select these right here, move them back a bit, and uh, do this. Yeah, remove them back a bit and connect this. Now you have this area right here. You do the same thing for this one, move them back a bit and connect them just like that. Now what you've done is you created an all quad based. Uh, topology and you went from one amount of density to another and, and it really helps uh, make your three model cleaner and more suitable for uh, 
uh, subdivision surface, sub, subsurface kind of workflow. So yeah, this is not the best case scenario uh, or best uh, mesh to in order to show the effectiveness of the 3D model, but it does help uh, show how to uh, go from a certain, let's say, bad looking mesh into a very nice looking one in a matter of mere seconds and stuff. So yeah, I think this is a very nice workflow. So make sure you use it as often as you can. So you basically add random edges. And what you do is you try to find uh, compromises and edges to spare and uh, certain edges to destroy. So you go ahead and see what it does uh, really, doesn't really contribute to your tree model. So you basically go ahead and uh, let me delete this for a second or I'm just gonna hide it. Uh, what uh, edge in your 3D model doesn't affect the outline of your 3D model and you basically go ahead and do that and delete those ones and uh, the next thing you do is you basically see what are the minor details that you can create very easily in a more efficient way so you go ahead and delete those as well and the next thing you do is you basically uh, delete the major details which is another step uh, which is uh, very uh, painful sometimes because it does uh, require a lot of time to, in order to do so, but it, it, the time it takes to create good topology is always worth it. And you make sure, and make sure that you uh, put uh, more, more time your, into your topology and destroy and rebuild as much as you can and uh, create the same model over and over because that's uh, really important if you want to uh, make your three models uh, more uh, market oriented or whatever and to make sure that they sell or if you want to get a job or whatever. It really helps to uh, make quality a habit instead of an act that you do once in a while. So make sure you do that this as much as, as often as you can. So yeah, I think this was it for today's tutorial. Uh, I hope you guys learned some new, enjoyed it. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe if you want to. Yeah, uh, see you guys uh, next one. Take care.